to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing another shaving video. And my choice of sub today is going to be from Chatillon Lux and Decoration Grooming, and this is 88 Chestnut Street. Um, the scent on this is very interesting. I get quite a lot of neroli up front, which I thoroughly enjoy. And I think that's rounded out with florals and citrus. It's a very interesting scent. I'm going to put all the scent notes in the description below for you guys to have a look at. As always with my write-up of the actual products. Um, my razor of choice today is going to be my 5 uh Joseph Rogers Made in Sheffield Straight Razor. The thing I love about this is the long tang. It's pretty unusual in vintage razors. And my brush is going to be my Declaration B6. So let's get uh, loaded up here and we'll get to shaving. This video will be up, uploaded on Wednesday. It's very important with Declaration Milk Steak. And I know I say this every single time I use it. Oh, that's a wonderful scent. I get quite a lot of citrus coming out now. It's a, it's a good warm weather scent, this. The thing is, it's not just citrus and that's, that's what makes me like it. It's quite complex. All I do here is I just I'm not splaying the brush, I'm just letting the tips kiss the top of the soap. Frankly, if you are a bowl loader or bowl latherer, you can obviously change the amount of soap your brush will pick up. This soap has quite a lot of backbone. So if I splay, it will pick up a lot of soap, so I need to be quite careful. I'm generally pretty cognizant of the amount of soap I'm picking up, although quite frankly, if you're, if you're loading from a tub, you don't really ever know. Keep going for a little bit longer here. The scent is genuinely lovely. I would say scent strength on this is probably a six, but off the, off the top, like once I'm lathering there, smelling the proto lather, it's definitely higher than a six. I would give it closer to a seven. Let's uh, wet the face and we'll get to shaving. So I am going to use my grooming department pre-shave again. I, I enjoy that. So let's get a face wet here. In fact, where is that? I have a, a cube. So we can use that instead. This is quite old, this cube. I'm happy something's still coming off of it, frankly. This is his first cube, I think. I don't know how much he's changed it, but a uh, very, very light ventilation on this. So what I'm gonna do is get the hands Damp and massage. It's still a bit thick, there's still a bit of resistance on this side. So I want to get rid of that completely. There we go. No resistance. That's what I want. Basically, resistance for me means I've not rubbed it in properly. Okay, now let's add some proto lather there. Oh, this scent. Like I said, a very light menthol. Yeah, this is a very nice scent. His collabs with Shaki and Lux tend to be hits for me. A lot of Sean's fragrances are right up my alley, quite frankly. Let's get to lathering up. Oh man. So good that I can eat it, apparently. <laughs> Splay. Hmm, man, there's, there's clear lemon in this. Oh, it's so fragrant. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
almost really opening up. Yeah, this is a lovely scent. Uh, very summery, in my opinion. Or well, the, the Neroli, like the warming of the Neroli really balances out quite well. So there's that too. We really did have a good chat with Sean at Shatty and Lux. If you haven't checked out that episode of the Raceman podcast, I highly recommend you do. Sean is a very, something I immediately noticed when I met him is the, just the sheer amount of passion he talks about, what he has when he talks about what he does. And I absolutely personally, I, lo I personally absolutely love seeing that in someone. Because he works fucking hard at it, and it shows how passionate he is about bringing people his stuff. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. This is quite the lather, I have to say. Very, but remember, this base can fall off a cliff pretty quick. So all we do is just not let it. Keep it going for a bit longer, and then we. Uh, I mean, jeez, Louise. with that. Oops. The scent is lovely, honestly. So what we're gonna do here is get all the flow through, put it on the top like so, clean up the line, do all that. This is a very unique scent. A really nice mixture of citrus and floral. Let's wash the hands here, or at least dry the hands. Put some soap up my nose, as always. Okay, let's shave, shall we, fellas? And lady fellas, start on the right side. Funny because I, I'm trying to remember to, to skin stretch more. It's not easy because <laughs> it's something like Dave Card says isn't very intuitive, and because of that, I am struggling to remember to do it.
Very nice. Very nice. It's funny how such an old old bit of kit can just can do so well. Get that with the left hand there. Okay, so the pass time. Good pass. Actually, took quite a bit of growth down with that pass, which is obviously the intention, right? Stupendous residual slipness. Lovely. I'm sad, I don't have the toner. Um, I missed out on the toner from the Shetty and Lux website. It's, he has, in my opinion, the best toner in the game. But I missed out on it. Lost a couple hairs there. Maybe uh, I'm cursed for knowing Chris. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He has, he has some bad luck with shadows, man. Paint a little bit more water in, if we can. I know we'll take it now. For a straight, the lather doesn't need to be thick at all. It can be actually very thin. And you still get a fantastic shave because of the slickness. Go cross grain here. Can't get that very well. It's fine. The inverted pass. <laughs> Holy shit, that works well. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that okay, that, that got the spot that I actually couldn't get, so. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. So we're going to go up on the neck. Mm. Oh, I struggle to... Cross grain on this side now.
that works very well. Um, I can get this jawline easily. And with that inverted pass technique, it's actually quite easy. Go down again on the mustache. Very useful. Okay. Let's go against, uh, let's do one more cleanup pass and then we're good. Just here. Awesome. Okay, that was a great shave. Um, these straight shaves are coming quicker to me now than they were, which shows I must be getting more proficient. Let's, let's get this on the face. This smells so good. It's like, oh man. Okay, let me uh, get this on the face and uh, come back to the buff. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hey guys, it's a uh, post shave. And toilet time for upstairs apparently. Okay, so let's get to, let's go with this alcohol free splash one by Zingari Man. She's very close to finalizing her alcohol free splash, which excites me to no end. This is kind of like a toner. It's a very good one too. Oh man, great shave. Okay, let me show you what I used today and I'm gonna let you guys go. So, my soap of choice, Chatillon Lux and Declaration Grooming, Milk Steak. 88 Chestnut Street, very, very nice. Uh, definitely up my alley in terms of scents. My range of choice was my I believe this is 5 eighths. This is a um, Joseph Rogers vintage straight. Uh, has a muted edge there. Really unique long tang. And the scales are made of some type of wood. If you guys know what sort of wood that is, just by looking at it, tell me, I'm curious. My brush of choice was 
pretty much my favorite my favorite knot the Declaration B6 um, in this Autumn Glory Jefferson handle by Declaration Grimming. And to finish off, we use the Alcohol Free Splash 1 tester by Zingari Man. Hope you guys, uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today or the, the video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support as always. You know, I <laughs> comment below, talk to me whenever you like. I, I'm, I'm really happy just to chat to you guys. I'm, blessed to be part of this community and yeah I, I thank you all for consistently watching the videos my name is jack your host in the virtual room wherever you're on the world have a wonderful day and goodbye for now